First and 10 at the Iowa State 6 as Purdy awaits the snap. They're going to run straight ahead with Hall. Get him down. Oh, the ball's out. The ball's out. Iowa picks it up. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Jack Campbell. I think my first impressions on Jack were, you know, when he came to camp here, it was it was three hours of, um, you know, sure hell for, for anybody that lined up across from him. Like, he, he got after it. Um, three straight hours, his, his tempo never backed down. Um, the way that he approached every single rep that he took was, you know, he was bound and de determined to prove to us that he should be a Hawkeye. And um, when we got done with that day, there was no doubt in our mind that he, we needed this kid on our football team. First couple years on campus, it's obviously different than high school. A uh, little bit of adjustment, but I mean, if you just come in with the right mindset, like anything's possible. So I would say just, uh, I came in with a mindset just uh, ready and, and wanting to, to do whatever it takes to get on the field. Um, and I'd say um, just I kind of I feel like I earned my role just through special teams my first year. Um, and I kind of I kind of took it and just try to push myself at practice every single day because that, that's all you can do and try to improve every single day because uh, over time that that'll that'll make a big difference. So. It'd be nice, Gary, to uh, kind of get well here and uh, get this final third of the season off to a great start against the Wildcat team that's given Iowa fits here over the, the past few years as well. I, I don't know. Maybe the stars are aligned right. Uh, the Iowa team coming in here having struggled running the football with that young, inexperienced, and somewhat beat-up offensive line. Maybe this is the perfect day to get well. Special teams outstanding, defense rock solid for most of the year. And now they get that running game going. And if that happens, uh, we might get a couple big uh, breakaway gains tonight. Get on. Get tight. Get Let's be focused, let's play together, let's have great energy, and let's have fun. And let's go, and let's go, and let's go, one, two, three. We still have a chance to uh, have it a double-digit winning season, but before you get to 10, you've got to get to seven. And that's the number tonight. Good luck, gentlemen. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Noah Shannon sacks Marty deep back uh, near the 33 yard line. So that's a loss of about a dozen. And here comes the flanker in motion. They fake it to him and now a sack. Well, that should be at least intentional grounding. <laughs> Marty got rid of the football and now the flag. I see the flag. Spencer. Don't know how that was really a poor throw. That's the second one like that he's made. And well, if you and remember, this, he hurt his arm last week. Yeah, he got he took a shot. Let's check in quickly with Rob Brooks. What do you got, Rob? Yeah, Dolph, we're going to see a change at quarterback. Alex Padilla was warming up over here on the sideline, grabbed his helmet, and is going to take the snap. Wow. Well, that might have something to do with Spencer's uh, two poor throws into the dirt. Padilla's up under center, and Alex Padilla on a play fake. Deep drop, great protection. He's got time. Throws caught at the 40-yard line of Northwestern by Keegan Johnson. First and 10, Iowa. Beautiful throw by Padilla. Charlie Jones in now splits wide left. Regini's out there at the slot with him. Padilla, good protection. Lobs it down the sideline. Caught. Caught inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. What a catch by Keegan Johnson. We're watching a star emerge before us, Edward. Yeah, and it's a back shoulder throw and he just goes up over the cornerback and what a throw oh i mean right and only person that could catch it was him and he went and got it padilla finally gets the line down tight end laporta goes in motion he better get it off just does in time goodson on a big push for the offensive line touchdown touchdown iowa right down the guzzle boy and everybody was blocked on that play nobody even put a finger on him what great blocking the youngster Connor Colby had a big block. You know Lindebaum 
crushed one or two out. There was not a linebacker to be seen on that run right down central. Here's a fake on the draw handoff straight back to pass. Marty has all kinds of time. Now throws it down the middle of the field. It's intercepted by Belton. Belton with the pick. The ball hung up there in that breeze, what slight breeze that's there on a pass intended for Stefan Robinson, who had Belton by a step, but man, can Dane Belton catch up? Boy, I mean, I thought he was beat. I thought it was going to be maybe six points. And all of a sudden, Belton just ran past him. Tight end is Laporta. Padilla back to pass out of the gun and has a man open. Goodson, first down, all the way out to the 40-yard line. Man, does he got a quick release. Now Alex is up under center. Tyler Linderbaum, Laporta goes in motion. They run opposite way to Goodson. Great block. He's at midfield. 45-40, 35-30, 25-20, out of bounds at the 18. What a block on the outside that sprung Tyler Goodson. And I think it was Sam Laporta. I'm pretty sure it was. And that was a great that draw, play was drawn up great because, you know, they've got all those linebackers inside. Jack Plum is in at left tackle. And here's a handoff off the left side to Bruce. And he kept his balance. And he's into the end zone. That's a touchdown, Iowa. Put a hand on the ground to keep his balance and snuck into the end zone. The Hawkeye future wide receivers. And again, good blocking out there. Guess who? 38, the fullback. Body Potabom. This will be the fourth punt of the first half for Torrey Taylor. He's just under 48 yards a punt. And here's one that's blocked. It's blocked. Northwestern's on it. Northwestern's running toward the Iowa goal line and tackled at the 10-yard line. Torrey Taylor ran right into the block. The Iowa turnover has the Wildcats cooking. First and 10 at the Iowa 10. They're going to run it right down the middle to Hull, and he's jammed up right at the line of scrimmage. Great penetration by Van Valkenburg. He led the charge. Logan Lee was there. Benson and Jack Kerner on a safety yep. run blitz. And we await the snap. Here it is. Spot is down. Kick is up. And it is good. Charlie Kubander with the kick from 25 yards. Alex Padilla comes on and leads Iowa on two touchdown drives at Iowa 14, Northwestern 3. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeye football. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Iowa gets the ball to start the second half. Spencer Petrus leaving uh, early in the game, early in the second quarter. Alex Padilla comes on for him and leads Iowa on two touchdown drives. It the new quarterback Alex Padilla, who rolls out on a play fake, throws downfield, and a catch by Arlen Bruce and a late flag might have been targeting. To the left comes Potabaum and Keegan Johnson. And on the quick slant, they get it to Bruce on the screen. He's loose. He's at the 30, 25-yard line. First down at the 24. This kid has got balance like a ballerina. And here's Charlie Jones. He's turning, stretching the play out on, on a right end sweep. And he gets the first down inside the, the 15. Play fake to Goodson. Padilla has time. Throws to the end zone. In and out of the hands of Keegan Johnson. Out of the hold of Max Cooper. Here's the snap, the spot, the kick. No problem for Caleb Shudek. 17 to 3 Iowa as the Hawkeyes gobble up clock and extend the lead back to two touchdowns. Marty's going to throw from his own end zone. And he's going down the middle of the field. Has a man wide open. Caught at the 35 yard line as Jamari Harris got looking in the backfield. So here it is, fourth down and seven from the Hawkeye 27. The center judge comes in, holds the play up, and here's Marty. Great back to pass on fourth and seven. Throws it is caught. Great catch at the eight-yard line. First and goal, Northwestern. Win receivers either way. And a play fake. Marty throws out the back of the end zone. It's uncatchable. Well, clearly uncatchable. The receiver ends up on the ground, courtesy of Jamari Harris. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. He's charged the head coach of Northwestern. 15-yard penalty, second down. Wow, 
15 yard penalty on Pat Fitzgerald. Now the try for the field goal by Kubander. It's long enough, and it is good. Boy, there's a gift three there. Yeah, 90, where'd it go, 90 yards? Washington goes in motion from the slot. Here's a play fake. Marty is grabbed down, doing a sack on Mershman seed sack. Guess where who? would we be without Joe Evans? Yeah. And that's a loss all the way back to the original line of scrimmage. A loss of seven. Marty looks to the end zone. He's going to lob it that way. Throws it right to Jamari Harris for an interception. <laughs> Is that fitting the way this series the second half has gone? And he had to throw it because he was going to get hit. But he, I think he was trying to throw it over and out of the end zone, but he didn't get it there. First and 15. That means nothing to Marty. He drops the snap, picks it up, throws it to the middle of the field, and here's Hull again on the loose. Gets the corner turn. He's going to score. Thanks. Incredible. 17 to 12. Iowa by five. Northwestern will go for two. And Marty's running to the left. They run the reverse. Now they're going to throw it into the end zone incomplete. Here's Marty. Hall in the backfield with him. On first and ten. Drops the snap again. Picks it up. Throws it. And it is intercepted by Dane Belton. Intercepted by Dane Belton. The Hawks hold on tonight. Padilla comes on. Leads the Hawks to two touchdown drives. And Iowa holds on to win it 17 to 12. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Xtreme, powered by Mediacom, the internet preferred by Hawk fans. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless and the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. He retreats beyond the 20. Hit as he throws, it is incomplete. Could have easily been intercepted. Great pressure by Campbell. And he threw his shoulder pads into the rib cage of Sean Clifford there. I would describe my playing style. I just feel like uh, more more old school, um, not a lot of flash. Uh, just trying to to sacrifice anything for the, the success of the team. Honestly, I would love like people to see that in me. Um, I would also say like I just try to fly around and do everything possible to to get in on the tackle or make a tackle um, and just do anything to put the defense in the best position. That's kind of a lot of guys' mindset on this defense and I feel like that's why uh, we've had uh, some of the success we've had up to this point. But, I mean, you always can, can do more. So um, I'd say um, also I just feel like maybe uh, I hope people look, on the, look from the outside and say like that kid's willing to do more um, for his team. There was a point where I, you know, I had mentioned, um, I think to our staff, I just said, I, you know, I think we got to give this kid a shot to be a middle linebacker for us. Um, you know, when you put somebody on the edge, there's, there's a chance that they're going to run away from them. And when you're in the middle of the defense, it's real hard to do that. And I just felt like, um, you know, he deserved a shot at it. And, uh, you know, I know we mentioned it to him, um, both positions, defensive end or linebacker. And I think he was also determined to prove to us that he was a linebacker in the Big Ten. I was ready to go, whether it be at offensive line, defensive line, or where I'm at now. But um, I just feel like uh, just showing up with the right attitude every every single day. I mean, that just goes a long way. And um, no matter what position they'd put me at, I feel like I would have I would have been given the same amount of effort and uh, bought in the, the same amount. So I mean, I'm just very fortunate to be in the position I'm in. Ball's deflected and almost picked off by Cam. I mean, it, it starts with practice. I feel like we got guys who are going to go out there and, and, get, and, and give it uh, their all in practice. So I'd say it starts right there. A lot of guys are um, kind of just buying into to what Coach Parker, uh, Coach Walls, Coach Bone, Coach Neiman are coaching. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's just all fundamentally, fundamentally based. But um, if, we, if we do that and, and fly around the field, like good things are going to happen. And up to this point, I feel like We've done a pretty good job of that. I mean, we, we still have a lot to improve on. And you know, probably the, the, the biggest part that, you know, you've seen, you know, individual stories exist there at the position, not only Jack, but Seth Benson, Justin Jacobs, um, you know, they've emerged at different times. And um, I think what you're seeing there is you're seeing a culture within that room, um, you know, none, none credit to myself, but more credit to the players and what they've done and the relationships that exist there that, 
you know, I think you're seeing the collection of, of that, you know, and the success that, that exists there, you know, due in part to not only Jack Campbell, but also to Seth Benson or Logan Klemp, who's not playing for us right now, or Mike Tim, who's been a staple on special teams that's just coming off of an injury, or to include Jess Jacobs, who's, you know, kind of just, you know, starting to work his way into a role. It's just like growing up in this state, it's, it's just taught me how to be, it's just taught me that you got to work for everything that you're going to get. Um, and then also just growing up, just uh, learning from my family that you're always going to put other people before yourself. And I mean, if you do those two things um, every day and just try to make uh, other people's lives better and at the same time just uh, work your tail off for any dream or anything you're trying to achieve, I mean, I feel like I truly believe that anything's possible and that's something that I've tried to ingrain in myself and just throughout the years I've just been continuing to do that and I feel like um, I'm trying to pass it off to my teammates as well and just uh, building the relationships with them has been awesome as well. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. And by Atletico Physical Therapy. It all starts here. did a good job in uh, getting to their guys and everything split up open for me so it was all about me just staying on my track and it was easy from there just just straight running to the end zone. You know they gave a little run action and I just got that one vertical route and that was my, my responsibility so I just felt like I, I tracked the ball well you know made a play on the ball and I uh, did what, I, what we pride ourselves on doing you know creating turnovers and I feel like I did that. Keegan set up uh, he got a first down on the title screen um, Right before uh, my touchdown, um, Potterbaum obviously had a great block. He drove the defender all the way into the end zone. Um, I was trying to figure out if I should go outside of him, go inside, but I saw the defender kind of had some leverage on the outside. So I kind of faked like I was going inside, and then I reached for the ball out, and I was in the end zone. Yeah, I saw the receiver out the corner of my eye. He did a little stutter. I uh, tried my best to stay disciplined, stay on top. And uh, I saw the ball in the air. I couldn't believe he threw it. Uh, and I seized the opportunity, you know, it was a blessing, uh, especially being in my home state. Uh, I had a lot of family there. Both my grandmothers got to see it, my mother got to see it. So, you know, it was an opportunity, it was a surreal, it was a surreal moment. You know, I couldn't, I wouldn't have it no other way. Going onto the field, we had talked about, you know, we had to make a play as defense and just being able to do that first play, you know, it takes, takes the crowd out of it, takes the team out of it, and ultimately, you know, end of the game. And I felt like, you know, it was a pass that we had practiced against as well. And, you know, I was in the right spot, you know, did my, my job. And I felt like I, you know, I made a play on the ball, and I felt like it was a good thing for the team. It's a trophy game. Uh, we beat those guys for a couple years, so I know those guys are wanting to beat us um, after the last few years. And I know they're going to give us their best shot, as always. You know, those guys have a good defense, a good athletes, and I'm looking forward for the competition. Oh, it's going to be a hard-fought game. You know, last year it was we, we won by a lot, but if you look at the past years, you know, it's always a they're always a good team. You know, they have good weapons on offense, uh, the way we look at it, and you know they can they can run the ball well. They have big guys up front, so it's going to be a challenge for sure. And you know, we'll be up to that we'll up to that challenge as a team. This has been a presentation from Learfield.